ट्वेल्थ सायन्स केमिस्ट्री इनर ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स हॅलो स्टुडंट्स इन प्रिवियस लेक्चर वी हॅव लर्न डिटेल अबाउट लँथनर्स देन वी विल सी द फ्यू कन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड विथ द लँथनर्स अँड ॲप्लिकेशन्स ऑफ लँथनर्स इन धीस लेक्चर देन सी हिअर ऑल ऑफ यू स्टडीड अबाउट द लँथनर्स दॅट इज लँथन टू ल्युटेशन देर आर फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स present in the Fourier series inner transition elements that is first inner transition element that are lanthanides and lanthanum to lutetium the first periodic trend we have to discussing here about that that is atomic ready and ionic ready all of you studied about that from lanthanum to lutetium the uh, ionic ready or atomic ready of those elements in series decreases from la to lu as the atomic number increases it is due to the effective nuclear charge increases from left to right it is because of n minus 2f orbital of those elements progressively filled up therefore one extra electron is added in the next elements from la to lu and effective nuclear charge increases by one unit due to the progressively uh, filled up its 4f orbital and therefore pull of 4f orbital from la to lu is increases and therefore atomic size or atomic ready and ionic size decreases from la to lu then more property that is oxidation state all of you studied about that oxidation state oxidation state the common oxidation state of lanthanide which is shown by them is plus 3 most of them shows plus 3 oxidation state a uh, few of them shows plus 2 oxidation state that means generally they shows plus 2 as well as plus 3 oxidation state shown by those elements and it is because of their 4f orbital 5d orbital and 6s orbitals which having similar en energies they have nearly the same energy therefore energy therefore instead of electron enters into 5d the electrons enter into 4f and 4f orbitals are progressively filled uh, in few elements electron enters into 5d orbital because of 4f and 5d orbitals which are being nearly the same energy and when electron enters into 5d orbital uh, it is for to maintain the stability and 4f orbital becomes half filled or completely filled and it becomes more stable because of its uh, 4f orbital that is f orbital shows poor shielding effect and due to that poor shielding effect the effective nuclear charge increases and therefore atomic ready also decreases from left to right which is called as lanthanide contraction and here plus 2 and plus 3 common oxidation state shown by those lanthanide elements sometimes it shows plus 4 oxidation state also that means cerium shows plus 4 stable oxidation state as well as here europium shows plus 2 stable oxidation state and terbium shows plus 4 oxidation state when cerium shows plus 4 oxidation state then its 4f orbital becomes empty or vacant therefore the plus 4 oxidation state for cerium is most stable oxidation state similarly europium eu2 plus for it the 4f orbital becomes half filled that is 4f7 and it becomes more stable iron in plus 2 oxidation state similarly terbium 4 plus 
in when it loses four electrons from 6s and 4f orbital therefore 4f orbital becomes half filled that is 4 epsilon and plus 4 oxidation state for terbium it becomes stable similarly terbium in plus 2 oxidation state it possesses 4f orbital completely filled and therefore yb2 plus is the most stable oxidation state for uh, terbium that is the that means lanthanide shows plus 2 plus 3 common oxidation state and it some few elements it shows plus 4 oxidation state then one more property of the lanthanide that is color or spectra color of the lanthanides see here color of the lanthanides see here lanthanides are fair in color lanthanide elements are fair colored elements uh, few of them are white or silvery the color of these elements it is due to the there are few reasons for color of that elements that is first that is ff transition like uh, dd transitions and one more property that is here uh, nf electrons nf electrons that can be calculated by using unpaired electrons present in 4f orbital. See here, NF electron is not the 4f electrons. NF electrons, NF electrons can be calculated by using the number of unpaired electron present in 4f orbital. And depending upon the value of NF electron, the color of that lanthanoid is depends on that nf electron number then we will discuss this point by taking one one of the example of it pr plus three oxidation state when that element loses three electrons from uh, 6s orbital and 4f orbital then electronic configuration for 4f that is 4f2 that means it contains two unpaired electrons present in 4f orbital depending upon uh, electrons present in 4f orbital here n is equals to 2 we can calculate the nf electron using the formula that is 14 minus n f electrons that means here where n is total number of unpaired electrons present in 4f orbital here two unpaired electrons are present in 4f orbital therefore nf electron number becomes 14 minus 2 that is 12 electrons that means here and number of electrons that is nf electron is 12 electrons therefore it is green in color therefore it is green in color similarly helium that is tm plus 3 oxidation state 4f 12 electrons are there and see here as 4f possesses 12 electrons therefore there are also two unpaired electrons are there because as there are 12 electrons out of seven energy cells five orbitals are completely filled and two unpaired electrons are there therefore 14 minus 2 that is 12 nf electrons are there that means it is also green in color because it contains 12 nf electrons that means here it is also green in color that means pr3 plus and tm3 plus both uh, ions are green in color and color of those ions depends upon the nf electrons the number of nf electrons we can calculate using the formula 14 minus n electrons then see here one more example that is neodymium that is nd3 plus for nd3 plus there are 4f3 electrons are there that means here the number of unpaired electrons present in it is 3 electrons that means here nf electron numbers that means here 14 minus 3 
that is 11 nf electrons are there 11 nf electrons are there therefore the color of iron is pink in color see here one more example that is erbium plus 3 in its plus 3 oxidation state which having 4f electronic configuration that is 4f 11 therefore there there are 3 unpaired electrons are there therefore 14 minus 3 that is 11 nf electron is there therefore erbium plus 3 it also shows pink color that means here there are few reasons for color of that lanthanides that is one of the uh, uh, reason is ff transition like dd transition of transition element similarly lanthanide shows colored elements due to the ff transition and one more reason that is nf electrons see here focus on the this point that is nf electron is not the electron present in fourier polyvital but here the number of unpaired electron present in the fourier polyvital we can calculate the nf electrons and depending upon the nf electron the color of that lanthanide can be determined using this value then one more property of lanthanide that is magnetic property of lanthanides all of you studied about the magnetic behavior or magnetic property of lanthanides which is measured by using effective magnetic moment effective magnetic moment which is denoted by mu e f is measured in Bohr momentum and which is depends upon number of unpaired electrons present in the 4f orbital that means n minus 2f orbital that is 4f orbitals and this value of lanthanide is depends upon the number of unpaired electrons present in n minus 2f orbital that is 4f orbital as uh, their 4f orbitals are progressively filled up most of the 4f orbital is which contains unpaired electron present in it therefore most of the uh, lanthanides are paramagnetic in nature. That means they show paramagnetism. And the effective magnetic moment of those elements is given in the table or chart in your textbook. Then see here the few of them that is like gadolinium. Gadolinium which becomes ferromagnetism. It becomes ferromagnetism below 16 degree Celsius. That, that point is called as Curie point. That means below this point, that gadolinium becomes ferromagnetic in nature or ferromagnetism shown by gadolinium. Similarly, the heavier lanthanides, that is heavier lanthanides, that is thulium, Polmium, Hisprosium, Erbium, Iterbium. These shows also ferromagnetic character, ferromagnetism at much lower temperature. Much lower temperature, they become ferromagnetic in nature. Then, see here is about the uh, properties of lanthanides. Then we will see the applications of lanthanides. That means these elements which is used in different fields. That means lanthanides generally they used in everyday life. Then uses of lanthanide or applications of lanthanide. Applications of lanthanoids generally lanthanoids are used in everyday life that is first of all see here the first application 
of that is it is used in color television television tube color television tube the mixture of two or more uh, lanthanoid compounds it is filled in the uh, color television tube and which uh, bomb emits the different visi visible light wavelength of small wavelength when electrons are bombarded on it that therefore it shows basic three colors that it uh, emits basic three colors because of their combination the color television the spectra or the display of the color television shows us colored uh, spectra and therefore here uh, oxides of few elements which is used here that is of europium and yttrium yttrium that is which is present in b block element and europium and yttrium oxide of those mixed and mixture of oxide of these two elements when electrons are bombarded on it then it emits the red color for example it emits red color similarly there are in color television tube there are different mixtures of compounds of lanthanides are used and which gives the different colors when electrons are bombarded on it and it emits the visible light of small wavelength of different colors are emitted from it then it also used in the opto electronic uh, applications which having the one more application that is opto electronic application application that means opto means which is related with the vision that means here see here elements like neodymium nd yag that means neodymium doped in doping of uh, elements all of you studied in solid state doping that is semiconductors which is formed due to the doping process that means when boron is doped into silicon and arsenic is doped into silicon then it gives p and n type semiconductors like that when nd that is neodymium dopes in yttrium that is element yttrium aluminium and garnet then it is used in luminescent uh, materials that means luminescence luminescent materials and one more application that is when erbium is doped then it is used in fiber amplifiers in uh, communication system that is erbium doped which is used in fiber amplifier amplifiers in the communication system communication system that is about the application of different lanthanides it is all about the lanthanides then we will study the detail about actinides actinides which are second inner transition elements in which actinium that is having atomic number 89 then next one that is thorium which having atomic number 92 laurentium having atomic number 103 that means there are total 14 elements after actinium are called as actinoids that means from thorium to laurentium there are total 14 elements are there which is 
known as actinums and actinum considering so actinum there are total 15 elements and that actinum having atomic number 89 then we will study detail about that actinoids then see here these elements which having higher atomic number these elements are heavier and most of them are does not form the nature the actinoids in which uranium which is found in the nature then remaining most of them is prepared in the laboratory that means most of them are synthetic synthetic or man-made elements generally all of them are radioactive elements radioactive elements which are having the property or tendency to emit alpha beta gamma rays from its nucleus that means as they emit alpha beta gamma rays from the nucleus they are highly unstable they are highly unstable and they are radioactive in nature then see here we will study detail about that actinoids first of all we will discussing on the electronic configuration of those actinoids all of you studied the general valence electronic configuration of actinoids that is here 7s orbital that is ns orbital is 7s orbital which contains two electrons in it then n minus 1d orbital that is 6d orbital which contains zero electrons one electron or two electrons are there and n minus 2f orbital that is 5f orbital which is progressively filled up in which 1 to 14 electrons are there that means here in actinoid phi f orbital is progressively filled up see here the radon is the nearest noble gas noble gas which having atomic number 86 that means the general valence electronic configuration for actinoids that is radon 86 7s2 6d012 and 5f1214 using this general electronic configuration we can write the observed or expected electronic configuration for actinoid then we will write the observed electronic configuration for actinoids first of all we have to remind all 15 elements present in actinoid series that is second inner transition series the first element that is actinium which having atomic number 89 the next one that is thorium having atomic number 90 next that is proctatinium which having atomic number 91 uranium 92 neptunium 93 plutonium 94 americium 95 curium 96 berkelium 97 californium 98 Einsteinium 99, Fermium 100, Mendelevium 101, Nobelium 102 and Laurentium 103. See here in those elements in this series the name of elements is from the name of scientist as well as the name of their native places that is americium curium is it is from the scientist mary curie then californium is the name of native places or uh, places of scientists einsteinium mendelevium nobelium is the uh, name of elements from their 
sign Christ name. Then see here there are 15 elements from actinium to laurentium having atomic number from 89 to 103. Then using the general valence electron configuration we can write the observed electronic configuration of those elements. Then the nearest noble gas for those all that is radon which having atomic number 86 that means up to 86 electrons the electronic configuration for 86 electron is like radon then remaining three electrons remaining three electrons in actinium the two electrons enters into 7s and as here actinium in which 5f orbital is empty therefore the remaining one electron enters into 6d orbital that is 6d1 and therefore 5f orbital which is empty that means observed electronic configuration for actinium that is radon 86 7s2 6d1 and 5f0 Similarly, we can write the electronic configuration for uh, the next all elements of actinoids. See here, there are few variations that we have to remind here. For thorium also, here radon 86 and remaining out of 4 electrons, 2 electrons enter into 7s and remaining 2 electrons enters into 6d orbital that means here 2 electrons enter into 6d then 5f orbital which is empty that is vacant and that is this electronic configuration is for to maintain the stability for those elements then for next that is protactinium element which having atomic number 91 then radon 86 and remaining 5 electron 2 electrons enter into 7s and here also 1 electron enters into 6d that means here 7s to 6d1 remaining 2 electrons enters into 5f orbital that is 5f2 that means here for protactinium having atomic number 91 the electronic configuration is Radon 86, 7s2, 6d1, 5f2. Similarly, we can write the electronic configuration for uranium. Then see here the electronic configuration for it that is radon 86, 7s2. Here also 6d1 electron is there and 5f orbital which is progressively filled up. That means here 5f, 3 electrons are there. Then for next, that is Neptunium, radon 86, 7s, 2 electrons are there. Focus here for Neptunium, there is also 1 electron enters into 6d orbital and therefore 5f orbital, 6d, 1 electron is there and therefore 5f. 4 electrons are there. But for the next element that is plutonium from plutonium to laurentium there n minus 2f orbital that is 5f orbital is progressively filled up. Therefore from plutonium having atomic number 94 the electronic configuration for it that is rate of 86 7s 2 electron here instead of filling 6d orbital that means here 6d orbital which is empty orbital and the electron enters into 5f that means here 5f which contain 6 electron in it then for the next that is americium the electronic configuration that is rn 86 7s2 here also 6d orbital is empty Therefore, 5f7 that is 
IUF orbital is half filled and americium becomes more stable. Then see here for the next that is curium atomic number 96 having electronic condition that is around 86 7s2 here to maintain the 5f orbital half filled one electron enters into 6d orbital and the electronic configuration becomes red on 86 7s2 6d1 5f7 that means 5f orbital becomes half filled and becomes more stable for the next one that is berkelium 6d orbital again becomes empty and therefore electronic configuration for it that is radon 86 7s2 6d0 and 5f 9 electrons are there for berkelium then californium radon 86 7s2 6d0 and 5uf 10 electrons are there for next ele element electronic configuration for it that is radon 86 7s2 6d0 and 5uf 11 electrons are there similarly for fermium the electronic configuration for it that is radon 86 7s2 6d0 and 5uf 12 electrons are there then for the next element mendelevium electronic configuration that is radon 86 7s2 6d0 5uf 13 electrons are there then for the next that is nobelium electronic configuration that is radon 86 7s2 and 6d orbital which is empty 5f 14 electrons are there in 5f orbital and for the last that is laurentium having electronic configuration that is radon having atomic number 86 7s2 6d1 it is because of 5f orbital becomes completely filled that is 5f 40 and remaining one electron enters into 6d orbital and completely filled 5f orbital that is 14 electrons in it therefore that becomes more stable that is about the electronic configuration of the actinoids then we will discussing on the oxidation state shown by the actinoids generally these are highly unstable these are radioactive elements and these elements which shows the common oxidation state that is plus three for all most of them this shows plus three common oxidation state then see here actinium which shows plus three oxidation state next element which shows the higher oxidation state that is plus four oxidation state that is thorium next for protactinium it is plus 5 oxidation state for uranium plus 6 oxidation state the highest oxidation state shown by the uranium as well as it shows plus 4 stable oxidation state for it similarly neptunium the next uh, element which shows again plus 5 oxidation state and plutonium shows plus 4 oxidation state and americium shows plus 3 oxidation state that means up to the middle of this series the uh, elements which show the highest oxidation state that is plus 6 here at first highest oxidation state increases from actinium to uranium and uranium shows the highest oxidation state that is plus 6 and again it decreases the highest oxidation state decreases up to the americium and from americium to next laurentium the remaining all elements shows plus three common oxidation state that is this all shows plus three common oxidation state and nobelium which shows 
the plus 2 that is lowest oxidation state and Laurentium should have the plus 3 common oxidation state. That means here common oxidation state of those actinoid element that is plus 3 common oxidation state. These actinoids also shows the highest uh, oxidation state up to the plus 6. Sometimes they shows plus 7 and plus 8 oxidation state also because those elements have tendency to form the complexes. And that is about the oxidation state of actinoids. Exercise given for you. Solve it carefully. Thank you.